Hello, in uh, this video I'm going to uh, take a base mesh of a human head uh, that I created in a previous video and I'm going to uh, uh, use a multi-resolution modifier to create a detail sculpt and uh, bake that uh, sculpt as a normal map to this uh, low poly model uh, or uh, maybe a bit more highly detailed model. Um, and then I'm going to uh, do some basic texture painting and uh, create a more or less procedural uh, skin texture. Uh, so this will look a bit more realistic than it does right now, which is pretty bland as you can see. So, uh, first off, uh, down here in the uh, bottom left corner, you can see which buttons I press uh, if you are interested in that. Uh, and now, without much further ado, let's go ahead. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into object mode and make sure to select the head here and add a multi resolution modifier. And you can turn off the overlays here so you can see the, uh, the actual uh, model here. And you press subdivide a couple of times. I'm going to press it like five times. What happens then is we go from, uh, we go down here. You go from uh, 2,800 uh, um, bases uh, up to uh, 1.4 million. <laughs> so it's a lot uh, more detailed uh, model. But the first thing I'm actually going to do is I am going to add one multi-resolution modifier because I think, I mean, this uh, 2,800 uh, faces model, it's a bit less, uh, with a bit uh, to a low poly for my taste right now. You can do this, but uh, honestly, from for my <laughs> own uh, sake, I'm actually going to do one subdivision. Uh, so this is going to be the base mesh that we're going to start working with. It's still fairly low poly. It's like 7,000 faces. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. And then we're going to actually apply this one modifier here. So this is going to be our base mesh from now on. Uh, and the reason I want to do this is because the base model I did before, it will work fine for a lot of applications, but I honestly want a bit higher uh, detail model. So what I also want to do now is do some basic uh, modeling already in this resolution here, just to make sure that we have everything set up. Uh, because when you go up in detail, you don't want to do any major changes here because everything, every change we do in a higher resolution, and when we bake that to a normal map, uh, any differences in like the, the distance from the vertices, I mean, if I increase the size of the nose in a higher uh, resolution uh, modifier, uh, so the nose is out here, the, the normal map uh, baking process, uh, it's gonna be difficult because you want to have as close uh, of, uh, uh, model as possible in the high resolution, low resolution. So I want to do the basic sculpting already in this, uh, uh, in, the, in the base model. Uh, so if it is in this uh, model or if it is in the even lower model, it's up to you, but I'm actually gonna do this. So first up, uh, some things to note. Uh, with this higher model, uh, I'm actually going to smooth it out a bit because when you do the multi resolution modifier, of course, a lot of things are going to get smoothed out. It's not the same as doing a subdivision surface as you can do uh, in the editing mode uh, because then you won't get the, the, the smoothing here. So it depends on how you want it to be. But uh, from now on, I'm going to just uh, do some basic sculpting here just to make sure to have. Uh, a good, uh, as good a model as possible to start with. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go in here. Just have a bit lower here, uh, a bit high radius. 
because we won't have like uh, the details here on the nose. And then let's see here, perhaps like that. And then I want to go uh, like that. Okay, it's a bit too heavy. Just want to be. Okay, now for the ear, uh, I'm actually going to, since this looks a bit bland for now, I'm actually going to attempt to create a bit more realistic eye. I'm actually going to try to sculpt it backwards by removing material here. So, make sure you don't go inside the head here. Something like that, you have this. And the plus thing here, yeah, something like that. And I'm gonna do some creases here. Um, just to make sure that we get hard to see. Something like that. Maybe increase the strength a bit here. I don't want it to be too obvious. You can do some smoothing here if you feel that it's it's too much. That. Of course, you need to actually look at the ear or picture of ear to do this. Uh, I'm trying to get this as close as possible, and of course, it's not supposed to be uh, absolutely perfect in this view. You just want to have a, you know, um, a base model to do your final uh, detail sculpting on later. So you want it to be, you know, I think maybe this might be a bit too little, but uh, yeah, let's see. Pull out this here.
Okay, so I guess this is gonna be uh, okay here. I'm just gonna smooth it out a bit here. And as I said before, I mean, you want it to be a bit more smooth like this because this is just gonna be the basic version of that here. It looks good. And I'm also gonna say that, I mean, the proportions might be off and the proportion might be off for a while, uh, but that's fine. I'm gonna try to tweak it over time. Uh, Okay, so they have here. I want to have a bit more definition of the uh, jaw here. So let's add some more like that with the crease tool, like so. And then maybe a bit more detail here. We'll pull this down a bit here. You also want to create this look here and now here, what you call it. Um, so I'm gonna use it with that and drag this in a bit. Just look at that, and I'm gonna turn on the overlays here. And make sure to have the wireframe on, and I have it with a little lower opacity here, so I can actually see what's going on. Because you don't want to do anything stupid here, so you destroy your model. Um, that's what I almost did there. So you don't want the, any vertices to be in, uh, behind any other, like that. But let's do it, maybe something like that. And then, as I did before on the ear, I'm going to do a bit of smoothing here. Just to get this a bit better. Let's see here. Maybe I should use that one too. Just to get a bit more detail here. We can look at it like this. Design. Let's see here. That looks a little better. Pull out this one too a bit. And let's pull these down a bit. Something like that. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Let's move it out a bit. Like so. Now we're going to see here. Good. Maybe we want some creases down here. Uh, not that much. That. Let's pull the way a bit. Maybe something like that. Okay, I think. Let's see here if we go into the uh, viewport shading here. There yeah, might be this can work. I'm always you know, trying to tweak things, so let's pull the eyes down a bit, maybe. Uh, pull them down like that. I the mouth looks small. Uh, yeah, so it's always a bit of tweaking here. To get things a bit better, like so let's now select them teeth, move them down a bit, scale them up a bit in x axis, like so. I don't know, looks a bit strange. Here we're supposed to yes, his mouth is slightly open like this. I don't know. 
but I'm honestly gonna try to start with this. Okay, so something I'm gonna start doing is actually to get a, a basic material going here. So if we now go in uh, to the materials tab here, or rather we go into the shading tab here, you can see that everything looks just easy. I just have a basic color on here, uh, bit subsurface scattering here, uh, otherwise everything is more or less a, a normal uh, uh, material. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to add a texture, a noise texture here. And I'm going to add a vector, a bump vector. I'm going to pull the factor here into the height. I'm going to pull the normal map into the normal height. So what this does, it gives us a bit of a bump map. And if I actually scale up this uh, noise texture here, a lot, and then scale down the strength here a bit, and directly see that you get a lot more you know, realistic the texture at least on the on the face. Uh, so you can tweak this a bit, you can tweak the roughness a bit. Uh, so this looks a little bit better. Just, I mean, usually that gives you a bit more uh, understanding of how the actual model looks like when you have better material. Uh, so yeah, I can change the spec here a bit and roughness. Okay, so this is gonna be fine uh, as a start. Mm, yep. So now I'm actually going to do the very fine detail uh, sculpting in the uh, in a higher resolution. Uh, so the head here, I'm gonna rename this uh, head low low. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. I'm just gonna make sure that we have a. Uh, yep. We need to have a UV map on this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure to get the middle one here. I think this is gonna be the middle. Yeah, this is the middle of the of the model. I'm gonna like select that one here. I'm gonna work my way around here uh, to the other side of the model, to the end here. And there we are. <coughs> and I'm gonna right click and choose um, mark seam. I get the scene like that. I'm going to go do the same here in the eye. So probably there, I guess. Now let's see. Let's hide the eyes. And then see here. Uh, show nice again. Yeah, I would like to have it perhaps then like that. But I want to be able to to model the. Uh, let's do it like this. I could actually use this inside here too, but it's you need to. I mean, you don't really need to have that much detail on the inside here. Uh, I'm gonna go for that. And I will try to do the same thing here in this side here. Uh, I assume there is a command to mirror the UV uh, the, the edge selection here so if you have that please let me know because I usually do it with this and it might be difficult it might be incorrect so yeah I'm gonna select anything in the mouth here no sorry Marcus C and then the edge bottom here like so so now we have the basic layout for the UV map. So let's go into face select, select all by pressing A, right click UV unwrap faces and unwrap. If we then go into UV editing here, it's apparently very zoomed out. But yeah, you can see it here. This is our head and these are the other shits. I guess this is the inside of the mouth. And this could be the um, eyes. So let's move this away a bit. Uh, you can select the entirety of this by press holding, hovering over it and pressing L, and you select uh, uh, everything that's linked. So that's good. What we then want to do is I actually want to go in here and uh, uh, select like a, a point in the middle of the nose here. I'm gonna make sure to be in the uh, proportional editing mode here. 
I'm gonna scale this up a bit. A little bit lower. Let's see, let's go. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So I want to be like a bit. Okay, well, that's good. Sorry, let's, let's scale this up. I don't know what's going on. Something's wrong. Um, I don't know why I have this insane high zoom level. Huh? So what do you want to do? What the hell? Yeah, you want to get like more detail in the... What the fuck? Okay, so then you select everything here, and you would like to go in and like select a point in the middle of the nose here, and then scale it up using the proportional editing tool, just to make sure that you have a little bit more detail in the nose, nose in the in the face area here, because you don't really need that much uh, resolution in the back here, uh, but you do want to have more in the face here. So yeah, let's scale this down. Uh, so it fits. Maybe have it like that. Okay, good. So now we have the UV going. And we can see the shading again here. See if anything's changed. Not really. Uh, okay. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the head here, rename that to uh, low poly as LP. And then we're going to duplicate this by pressing Shift D, and then press Escape to make sure that it's in this, uh, its original position. And this is going to be renamed to HP, as in high poly. Let's hide the low poly. Sorry, let's hide the low poly there, and then add a multi resolution modifier to this one, and then subdivide this. I usually go with, uh, I guess, five. Ah, I think four would be sufficient. <laughs> Is of course I already did a multi multi resolution modifier before. Uh, so I mean five million faces should probably be a bit excessive. I'm actually gonna do this again. And I'm gonna have just four. This time. So 1.4 million. That that should be fine. So what we want to do then is go back into the scouting mode, and then we're gonna do the very detailed scouting here. And that is gonna be like things like uh, Creases on the eyelids, as I do now. Uh, you can do that a bit exaggerated. What you want to avoid is to make make any changes to the topology of the mesh. I mean, you want, don't want to like move this one out like that because then you're going to get difficulties when the when you pick the model. So you want to just make sure to do some light creases like that, maybe something like this. That was a bit excessive. Just a little bit. I think like that. Uh, get some creases here in the forehead. That. And now, of course, I have the mirror modifier on here, and that's fine, I guess. Get some details in the lips here, just you know, getting some creasing. Just to get some basic uh, realism going. And of course, you can do this a lot more detail than I'm doing right now. 
but I think this will be fine. And we can just see what you can do. I mean, you can do a lot of things here. That's a bit excessive. Then maybe add some more because now you can do a lot more detailing here. But of course, not too much. I mean, this might not be necessary. I mean, if you have the, you're fine with the model as it is. In the lower resolution, you don't need this motor resolution modifier. But I usually feel that give them a bit more detail here, then you can actually uh, sell the, the realism a bit more. Of course, I'm not a professional, I'm just an amateur, but. You know, you like that. Moving here. See. Okay. And then, of course, you can do some uh, uh, things that are not mirrored. Then you can make like small dimples and stuff. I mean, usually you have a lot of things going on in the, in the face. So just small, very small, you know, maybe some veins here. You don't have to be ultra visible, just to make sure that uh, you break up the, um, the smoothness of the model. Because a way too smooth model would be a bit too unrealistic. And of course, I mean, the model will not look like photo. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, there are a lot of different techniques for that, but this is going to be a 3D model that is obviously handmade. Okay, like that. Let's do some uh, invert here and make it some pits in this game. So now we want to make sure that this high resolution model is uh, applied to the lower resolution. I mean, it's not that difficult, different if you look at the, the viewport shading here. If you look at the low poly model and then the high poly model, I mean, you could of course go ahead and do a, a little more changes, but I think this is going to be fine. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to select both these. We're going to go into UV editing and we're going to use text tools as I've shown in previous videos, uh, which is a very good tool to uh, bake normals and stuff like that. Let's have a 
cache extrusion and ray distance, so 0 0.15, I guess, something like that. Make sure that you have these two symbols here that indicates they have both a, a low poly and a high poly model um, selected. And that's why you want to call them HP and LOP LP. And then you press bake and wait. Now you have, oh crap, okay, so uh, you also want to remove this uh, thing here because uh, the tool actually uh, takes the input to a normal and makes that too. So that could be very good if you want to make a model, a normal map for a game because then you can get the bump into the game too. But for now, we just want to have the normal map. So we're going to have to do this once more with the bump node disconnected here. Sorry for that. <coughs> okay, so now uh, we're going to now we're going to use the text tool again and break. So now you can see I have a lot more uh, better detail here, and you can look in here and see that you don't have any, you know, single color fields. Uh, if you want to have like smooth changes here, and I think everything looks quite fine. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go into like uh, the shading tab again. We're gonna hide the high poly model. That's done its job for now. And let's go into the low poly model. You can pull this one, the bump node here, you can pull that uh, into the normal here again. And what we're then going to do is we're going to add another texture shade, texture here. It's going to be an image texture. And we're going to select the head normal tail tangent. This naming is uh, generated from uh, text tools. Uh, we're going to then add a vector, a normal map. This is important. If we don't do this, it's going to look weird. To pull the color into the color and the normal into the normal of the bump map node here. So if you don't change the strength here of the normal map, you can see all the changes that we have done with the, the detail modeling here. Yeah, it might not be very uh, detailed, but yeah, you can also lower the resolution, the strength of the bump map here, and maybe actually invert this. It's always hard to see, but yeah, maybe that looks a bit more realistic. Okay, like so. So yeah, of course, depending on which ones, how much you use here, you can get more or less detail. And of course, you can go in and do a lot more than this. Uh, yeah, like so. We can maybe look into the viewport shading with a uh, with light zone. Let's add a sun. And then you can see that I mean, these imperfections might be a bit, uh, I mean, it gives a bit more, you know, realis realism. <laughs> but for now, of course, everything is very, very, the colors is uh, quite bland too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, create a detail texture. And we do this by going into the, uh, we can go into the texture paint, uh, you can do it going the EU editing or whatever. But uh, let's create a new image here. Let's have it as uh, 496 times 496. Uh, let's go to detail. You want this to be white. Okay. So this is a detail texture. I'm going to go into the modeling again, actually. <coughs> and then uh, I'm going to go into shading here. And I'm going to want to add a uh, and uh, let's see here, color, uh, mix RGB node. 
I'm going to pull this in now, so it's going to be completely white. But what I want to do then is let's go in with, uh, uh, where is that? Input RGB. So you can choose the color of your, uh, the base color of your face. Uh, let's do like something like that. And then what you want to do is to add an, uh, sorry, <laughs> add a texture, a color image texture, and choose the detail. Pull that into here. And then I think what we want to do when this is done here is to make a I would say multiply modifier and wait a bit like so okay we change this nothing should happen good so what you now want to do is to do some basic texture painting here and you want to make sure to go in here and make sure that the detail is, is selected and then let's go down with a bit more reddish color Reduce the strength a bit, and quite a lot, and increase the radius. Because now we want to do some basic coloring here of the model. It's probably easier to do it in, without the, 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 the sun. <laughs> so here, uh, you, have, you can see the texture down here. It might be easier in the texture painting, but then it looks like this. So I'm using you're doing it in the modeling uh, with the texture paint on. So then you can just do some, you know, basic color variations here. And of course, you should be a bit more red around the eyes. The lips, of course, should be red. And as you can see, when we added that uh, shading modifier, uh, the, uh, this will be applied on top of the current color. Do something like that. Uh, yeah. Like that, and do some minor adjustments here and there. I'm actually also going to go in because this looks weird. Uh, so I'm going to go in and call a black color here, and I'm actually going to color in the nostrils here. I would say that this could be done. E oh, what? I'm actually, you could paint that. No, no, it's just a shadow. Okay. Increase the strength. Uh, this should be done with like ambient occlusion but that's not always available in all game engines and stuff like that uh, some people want to shut it off to get a better and uh, better performance so then this will make it a bit more realistic maybe a bit more black like that can also reduce the strength here and make it a little more dark around the eyes something like that maybe and here, the nose. I would say also the bottom of the lip. So I'm just trying to get a bit more realism here. Uh, like so, a bit more darkness in the air. And then I, I know I've said before I'm not good at ears. Uh, you probably learn and make a like, video about that, but yeah. For now on, how this as it looks like now. Oh, crap. But as you can see, I mean it's not terribly convincing right now, but with a bit more work. This is going to look a lot better. Let's do that. Make that. Yeah, more maybe. This is supposed to be very red. That. <laughs> a bit redder, my ears. Okay. Some of these things happen. Has to do with, uh, you know, if I'm painting here, I might might get the ear to occlude the back here. So I can do that by 
the saw that a bit by just using the smoothing brush here or go into the actual texture paint in here and see yeah this looks weird this is like the detail it's a bit exaggerated now and that's how it should look but let's actually go in and use the white coloring here uh, and then like give the strength and remove this something you need to get used to and i always miss that there we go. Yeah. So here we have a bit, I mean, it looks a bit better, right? So uh, we can also then do some more on this. I mean, this color here, which you can choose whatever you want. And it can be red, it can be blue, uh, whatever. But I actually want to go one step further and go in here and create another noise texture. And then I'm gonna go into a converter and a color ramp. Put the factor in there, and the color in there. Right now it's just gonna be black and white with the subsurface giving some red, red issues. But what I want to do is I want to have a bit more uh, <laughs> normal colors. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select just a bit of a color like that, and then a bit more reddish color maybe. Of that because I mean of course the no no one's face is completely uniform. So that gives it a bit more realism. And then we can change, do some things here just to choose how much of a detail goes through. But yeah. Something like that, maybe. And then you can do some changes to the subsurface here. And you can also change this color. And of course, you can always make a subsurface texture where you have different uh, colors in different positions. But for now, this is going to be fine. So yeah. Something like that. You can play around with roughness here. And if you have a very roughness, of course, you're going to look like you're completely wet. We're going to do one final thing, because this is going to be uh, more or less where we end off this video. But we end off where we stop this video. But I'm going to do one more thing, and that is actually to control the roughness. I'm going to do go into the texture paint here and create another model. Uh, it might not have to be that big. I'm going to call it roughness. Because something that uh, if, if you have like the same roughness over the entire face, it's gonna be looking a bit strange. The only thing I need to do now is to add texture, image texture, choose the roughness, and now of course one is 100% roughness, zero is uh, completely smooth or yeah reflective. So you pull this one in here, everything is gonna be completely smooth, like so. And I don't really think that's gonna be a good for any part of the face. So you can go into the texture paint again. Let's see here. In the roughness here, you want this to be a bit darker. Uh, so let's go with, I mean, the base the reflectiveness, maybe like that. Do this play like, yeah, so look like this. Uh, still a bit rough, uh, a bit reflective, so maybe a bit more less like that. Yeah, you can play around with this. That, yeah, that'll be good. And then I'm actually going to go in here and go way back down to black, but uh, reduce the strength a lot. And then we're gonna see here where do we want more roughness? Well, around the eyes, perhaps. I think we want more roughness. This. Want a bit on the nose, uh, in here, lips, I guess. That forehead, maybe not that much. Some roughness. Uh, 
down there. Two canal here. Yeah, and something that we're going to add now is actually going to add uh, because this looks again a bit the light thing is a bit weird. I'm going to go in here to the world properties, increase the ambient light a bit. I'm also going to add another light, uh, point light, uh, and I'm going to move that in the front a bit. Increase the let's see here power a bit just to give us a bit more. Uh, maybe you know what? I'm gonna add a uh, area light. Of course, <laughs> you're gonna see why. Move that out a bit. Change the power and the size. This. Hmm. This works. Okay, so now we get a bit more understanding of why I did that. Just to get some more liveliness in the model. Yeah. What the hell? Convert. Yeah, I think this looks. Fairly nice. I mean, it is still the low poly model we're looking at here. I mean, as you can see, uh, you still get the details here. What you can also do is there is uh, some more things we can actually try. First of all, you can try to render this in the Cycles Workbench. We get a bit more. Uh, realistic look, but it takes a lot of time. So let's keep it in EV. Okay, good. Uh, so next step here, maybe actually reduce this a bit, like so, and remove this. And what was I thinking? I don't know. Probably something. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry for being so confusing, but let's end it with a smile. 
for confirming that at least. Okay, so this is the model. I'm very happy with it, it's uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to probably create another uh, video with more uh, continuing um, detailing on this. Uh, something that we are sorely missing in this model is some uh, eyelashes and some additional uh, detailing. So I'm going to probably add another part here with uh, like a detailing part two. Uh, but for now, I think this is gonna be fine. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, maybe a bit too heavy on the roughness here. Maybe I tweak that a bit. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, if you like this video, um, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah. See you later. Bye.